guys, it's Brooke. So today I am doing another fall Starbucks review. Last time I did a duel between Dunkin' and Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. So if you want to check that out, I will have it in the cards as well as down below. But today we are going to try the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks and I'm so excited. I was saying that I've been wanting to try this drink. I've never had it before for some reason. I really want to try this drink. It looks so good. So it is a cold brew sweetened with vanilla topped with pumpkin cream cold foam, which sounds so good, and a dusting of pumpkin spice. And it says it's a smooth fall treat. I had somebody on my last video tell me that if I do try the cold brew, to tell them to add pumpkin sauce and cream in inside the drink and add extra foam and the pumpkin scone that does look super good so I might get that as well or I might just get another cake pop but regardless my Starbucks is so busy it's right across the street so let's go ahead and order the pumpkin cold brew I almost said PSL I am probably going to order it the way that Melon told me to that's who made that comment their username is melon and they have a picture of a melon Which is so funny. So Starbucks came out with these new black like iridescent studded cups And I thought they were so so pretty and they came out with one that was like a grande size And I wanted that one and they came out Tuesday, which is the day that I did the PSL uh, video and I was so late I didn't know that Starbucks came out the new cup till after I did that video like after I've already been to Starbucks but according to everybody that I've asked and all the videos that I've seen online there were lines outside of Target and Starbucks and there was people literally buying five to ten cups like literally buying the store out just to resell them on Etsy and Amazon for like 80 to 150 dollars and I think that is so ridiculous I've been seeing people doing that with the Disney Halloween merch as well and it just makes me so mad like people are so greedy just to make a buck off of something like look this one right here $68 this one right here $85 $80, $80, $70. These two for the full size, for the venti size and the grande size, $145. Like to me, that is just so ridiculous and so greedy and just like so rude because, you know, regular people want cups and then you have these people who just want to try and make a quick buck off of something and literally buy out the entire store. Like Peter Review stuff said, people at his Starbucks when he went at 8 o'clock in the morning bought I think it was like five or six cups at a time and that was a couple and also a lady and I was like that is just ridiculous so what I think I'm going to do is instead of adding the extra pumpkin sauce I think I'm just going to add extra cream and extra foam because really I think the foam is what makes the entire drink. I really think caramel would be so good in it too so I might have to try it a couple different ways but as of today we're just going to keep it simple. I think I'm really going to get the pumpkin scone because oh my god that looks so amazing. We're almost next. Got one person in front of me. I'm at the same Starbucks, by the way. I was actually gonna go to the other Starbucks and I looked on my Starbucks app and they're literally sold out of pumpkin everything. So I had to drive all the way around town just to come back to the Starbucks because I went to Target to look for the cups. She was like, oh no, those sold out like five minutes when they first released on Tuesday at eight o'clock. Y'all, I forgot lipstick again. Oh my gosh, I am so bad about forgetting to put lipstick on. My lips literally have no color. It's our turn. Can I get a small um, pumpkin cold brew? Can I get extra cream and extra um, foam in that? Y'all, that pumpkin scone is expensive. That sucker is like $3.25. I don't know how much that drink was. Um, the total was $12. So my regular acai drink is about four. So four, five, six, seven. I'm so bad at math. Seven, and then so it was about like almost six dollars. So 
it's a little expensive but I also got extra foam and cream in it but I did get a small even if I did really like it it's not really that healthy for me to drink a grande cold brew I don't know if any of y'all do but I actually suffer from like heart palpitations if I drink too much caffeine so I know I have to be kind of careful like how much caffeine I intake in a day because there's certain drinks or certain foods that can kind of set it off it's not like anything dangerous it's just kind of ups my anxiety a little bit and it can be kind of scary hey there hey oh sorry <laughs> I like that thank you thank you Okay, I'm gonna try and not tip the camera. I'm gonna go back across the parking lot and we'll do our little taste test. This is so freezing cold. It's just what I need on this 100 degree day. Go right here. Back to where we started. So this is the pumpkin cream cold brew. It looks really, really nice. It honestly looks like a caramel macchiato. Y'all, uh, this is so weird, but I never get these lids, and I am so excited that I got one of these lids. I love these lids. I would rather use these lids instead of, like, these straws. So, I'm so, so excited. This smells absolutely amazing. Oh, it smells like a pumpkin scone. No, just kidding. No, it doesn't. But it smells so, so good. It smells just like pumpkin. So, let's do the taste test. I really want to try the foam. Oh my god. That needs to be an icing on a cake. The yummiest, yummiest, yummiest cold foam I've ever tasted. Let's try the entire drink. Oh. That is so good like so so good I am so beyond excited that I got to try this that I tried it okay so I did get extra cream but I don't know actually I don't think they added extra cream it just says extra foam on here this cold brew actually isn't as bad as the one that I tasted before Yes, it's strong. Yes, it tastes like a cold brew or like a strong espresso, but with this cold foam on top, oh God, it's so good, you guys. It's so cold. I think I like this better than the PSL. I'm definitely drinking all of this, and I definitely will be getting this again. Even if you aren't a big fan of cold brew like I am, I tried, I think I tried the nitro cold brew, and Oof, you want to talk about a strong cup of coffee? Mm -mm, this girl couldn't do it. It does kind of remind me of the caramel macchiato a little bit, like that same taste. It has like that same coffee taste to it, but the pumpkin cold foam is what makes the drink, and it is so, so yummy. I would literally would love this as an icing on a cake. And I would literally, I would literally eat this like Cool Whip. Like it is so good. Also, just in case anybody is wondering, if you don't like a strong pumpkin flavor, I honestly don't taste a ton of pumpkin. It has just that right amount of sweetness. It's not pumpkin spice flavoring. It's just like a really, I don't want to say really sweet because it's not really sweet. It's just like a nice, subtly sweet pumpkin cream flavor super yummy 10 out of 10 recommend if you been wanting to try this or you were on the fence of trying this try it because it is literally so good it's better than the PSL in my opinion it's not overly sweet it's not overly pumpkiny but it's also not overly strong as in coffee and it's so cold which I think makes it 10 times better so oh this is so good I'm so happy I got to try this I will definitely be getting that a lot this so year. Let's go ahead and try the pumpkin scone. Now I will say, I do think this is worth $3.25. Like it's a big size. Oh, and it smells so good. Y'all, I already know I'm going to love this. This is going to be so yummy. Mm-hmm. So good. I will say, it smells stronger than it actually is like the pumpkin flavoring it smells really really cinnamony and pumpkiny 
but when you taste it or when you eat it it's not as strong as it smells and also the icing is hard I think this would be so yummy if you put this in the microwave for about I don't know like six to seven seconds or even ten seconds and let this get nice and melty oh that would be so good it almost just tastes like a cinnamon roll honestly but just a little bit of this pumpkin um, icing. I also want to say that if you are a coffee lover, like you actually like to taste your coffee, then you will absolutely love this. It's just the right amount of sweetness, but you can mainly really taste that nice, cold, refreshing, brewed coffee. If you love coffee, you will absolutely love this. Like it's literally halfway gone. I'm almost done with it. I knew I should have got a grande. I always say that I'm like, oh, I don't think I'll like this drink, and then I end up loving it. That happened to me twice already. Actually, that happened to me three times. I did the starfruit refresher drink, and I did not think I was going to like that. It was so good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my cold brew review, pumpkin cream cold brew review. I know I did. <laughs> it was so good. Starbucks is killing it this year. Highly recommend the pumpkin scone. So, so yummy. It is sweet, so if you don't like overly sweet stuff, you may not like it, but it's just the icing that's sweet, and I feel like you could probably take the icing off if you wanted to since it is a little bit harder. So happy I did this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Check out my other Starbucks video. It will be linked down below. Click subscribe if you are new. I would love if you would join the family. You can watch more videos right here as well, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.